Got a brand new scent here from the Bearded Mac. It's called the Revered Mac. It's been in the works for almost a year that I know of, uh, and it's limited edition, so you want to make sure you pick that up. You can get it in oil and butter, and for the very first time ever, you can get yourself a Bearded Mac cologne. So welcome guys, my name is Brian, this is my Beards of Banjo's YouTube channel where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you so much for joining me. Just love what Chris and Eileen are doing over there at the Bearded Mac. Uh, you go back and watch my very first review of the Bearded Mac. I, by the end, I was just gushing because I was so impressed with the, the smooth, sophisticated uh, scent profiles and the, the feel in beard from the carrier blends. Uh, it was just awesome. And now they, they've added more and more products. The Beard Wash Bar, starting to add in colognes. They've added in uh, body soap and they're just about a one-stop shop. I uh, can't say enough good things. And I was honored to be able to have them here on the channel for the live stream launch of this Revered Mac scent. So if you didn't check that out, go back and check it out. You can hear from the owners themselves in long format. Uh, we had a good time there. So let's get into this. So uh, the Revered Mac. You look at the, the, the little promotional pictures and it says citrus, tobacco, and cedarwood. You start digging around a little bit more on the website and it paints a little bit more of a picture, right? So you get more nuances here with the scent profile. So we're going to try to break that down for you. So the picture that it's trying to uh, convey to you is uh, like you're in a cigar lounge. Doesn't smell like a cigar. Uh, does have some tobacco notes to it, but you get on some of the other stuff, some wood notes and some, some citrus and that kind of thing. So uh, here we go. So the full breakdown, you get bergamot and lemon for the citrus. Uh, you got pink pepper, which is pretty recognizable. Uh, there was an old scent that uh, Chris had that was called the Highlander Mac that had a lot of pink pepper in it. This is not as much as that, uh, but you can definitely pick it out. I like it. Uh, rose, and it's not much rose. It's not like it smells like a flower garden or anything like that. I can't pick out the rose, but a lot of high-end fragrances and colognes do have floral notes into it, and rose being one of those uh, more prominently. Uh, tobacco uh, and vanilla, but it's not your, like a traditional tobacco vanilla scent um, and then you get cedar wood and vetiver so a lot of things there that are uh, kind of punchy and have a lot of bite to it right your citrus your lemon pink pepper has bite to it cedar wood has bite vetiver has bite and that's what you get here the the tobacco is definitely there but it kind of blends in with the rest of it uh, you may not even like tobacco scents tobacco scents and I think you could like this one if some of the other stuff sounds good enough to you not sweet um, you got all the stuff with the bite in it it is a on the stronger side I definitely think it's one of the strongest uh, scents that the Bearded Mac has out currently uh, so if you that sounds good to you make sure you check that out uh, you can get an oil one ounce oil for $19.99 a two ounce butter for $19.99 uh, and then I do have an affiliate code Banjo15 always works to save you 15% free shipping at $75 and if you add in the cologne, a 1.7 ounce cologne, uh, that's $59.99. That should get you over the uh, the free shipping threshold, if you will. So uh, I was blown away when I, uh, I I got this. This is not like your your kind of body spray kind of thing. This is like a cologne. Uh, and I talked to uh, Chris. It's like you, you had this made, right? You sent this off to a fragrance you know, fragrance shop, whatever the fancy name is for that parfumery and, and had this made. said, so, no, I did it myself. I was like, wow. Uh, and Chris does, Chris has been working on this scent for just about a year. We've been talking back and forth about it. So uh, Chris is very deliberate, takes his time, perfectionist, gets things like he wants it. So I know that this did not come easy. He did say he's uh, testing out some other uh, of his scents to try to turn them into uh, colognes. So let me know in the comments, what do you think would go well for a cologne in the Bearded Mac? Uh, like when the live stream, everybody said Roaring Twenties. Um, I'm thinking Ravager, Mad Mac for sure. Uh, maybe maybe just about all of them because they're all sophisticated now that I think about it and they could go towards a cologne. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm gushing again. Uh, I will get off of here. Let me know uh, what some of your favorite scents are from the Bearded Mac. And if you tried the Revered Mac, make sure you put that down in the uh, comments on how you like it. And as always, appreciate you watching. We'll see you soon.